Hey, how's it going everybody? Aaron Hilliard for another episode of Mushroom Wonderland. And today I'm gonna go out and get some turkey tail mushrooms and show you how we collect these, how to identify them, and how to process them so that you can use them at home. They're a really easy mushroom to identify. They grow everywhere and uh, they're very useful and beneficial and medicinal. So come with me on this episode of Mushroom Wonderland to learn all about how to gather and use Tremedes versicolor or the turkey tail mushroom. Let's go. Mushroom Wonderland. So check out what I came across right here. This beautiful hardwood log with a whole bunch of these mushrooms growing off of it. These are known as turkey tails or Trimedes versicolor. You can see the concentric color rings. They're a bit tomentos. That means that they're a little bit fuzzy. And uh, they always have pores underneath, so it's a whitish surface with little tiny holes. These little holes are where the spores come out of, kind of the seeds for the mushroom. But these can grow in really prolific flushes on a log like this and be harvested and pretty ready to use right off the log. Just lots and lots of these shelves, you know, these are like a bracket fungi. So they easily pull off of the wood and I can collect them into this mesh bag that I have. I'll put a link for this in the description. But uh, you can see this is a large um, alder tree that has fallen over, it probably died of natural causes. And the fungi is actually inside this log and it's uh, the mycelium is running all through here, eating all of that delicious lignin out of the log. It's leaving behind this white matter. This is why it's called a white rot decayer. And uh, Tremedes versicolor, really good one at breaking down lignin in wood and helping to decay it. So a lot of the fungi that are grown and cultivated are white rot decayers because they just eat the lignin away. And so here we have various colors and that is why it gets its name versicolor, you know? Look at these ones are kind of grayish color. These ones are uh, a kind of a mixture. And then some of them are very very much more orange and tan. And so you might think these are different species, but usually when they go off to be sequenced, they come back to be genetically exactly the same. It's just curious why some are more of this ochre, orange, brown color. And then some of these are definitely more black. I'm gonna go ahead and collect these off of this log and put them in my bag and then take them home and show you how I'm gonna process them. Makes it real easy to pick these when the tree fell down. All right, so I got a pretty nice bag of turkey tails. I'm gonna leave a lot here so they can just produce spores and send their spore all out into the forest. I got a couple pounds of turkey tail and I'm gonna be dropping spores as I walk back to my truck. But we're gonna take these home. I'm gonna show you some ways that you can process them and then how we're gonna use them. All right, you guys, so I'm back at the house. I have my bag of turkey tails here. And what I'm gonna do is just throw them onto this Elite Gourmet dehydrator. And this is like, I don't know, $45 or something like that on Amazon. And basically, you can clean them up before or after. I find that like the moss and the bark and stuff kind of chips away really easy once they're dried. So I don't spend a ton of time fussing with um, prepping them too much as I put them on the dehydrator, but you just basically want a single layer per tier. And if you've never used a dehydrator, it's super simple technology. It's just these, um, these like plates that are, uh, the air can blow through and then mine's a little bit dirty. I dry a lot of mushrooms here, but it just blows hot air out of the center and you can make it be hot air. And then these stack up in a way that, um, your mushrooms don't get squished and basically I just lay my turkey tails out
So pretty much filled up this dehydrator. Another way you could do it is just to take like a frame with a metal screen you could buy at the hardware store and you could lay these out on like sawhorses in your garage and just let them air dry, which can take a while longer. Um, but I kind of like to do it the quicker way. And uh, so you put the top lid on and I'll just set it to like the medium heat level. This is 113 to 131. So like 120 degrees, it's gonna dry. It's out here in my shop. I'm just gonna forget about it for like two days. And when I come back, they are potato chip crisp. So I have this basket that I just kind of dry out turkey tails when I find them and harvest them and uh, they get nice and potato chip crisp and now they're ready for processing whenever you want to use them so um, after these dry out for a couple days they're going to go into a basket like this and uh, now they're ready for processing to be used One book that I would highly recommend when processing medicinal mushrooms would be The Fungal Pharmacy by Robert Rogers. I have my signed copy here. This is such an amazing book. It covers 14 pages just on Tremides Versicolor, just on turkey tail mushrooms and their benefits. So it's an amazing mushroom. And this is a really awesome book to learn all of the crazy medicinal benefits of turkey tail way more than I can list here off the top of my head for sure. So when processing turkey tail, what I'm gonna do is just simmer them simply in water. Um, turkey tail, just like a lot of mushrooms, have a cell wall called chitin, and it's the same thing that's the exoskeleton of a crab or a lobster or human digestive system just can't handle it. So a really long cook, can break down that chitin layer and make things bioavailable to us. So you can do it just by simply simmering the fruiting bodies in water for two hours. I heard at a simmer for two hours to really help break down all of that stuff. Or you could use a pressure cooker and probably cut your time in half, if not um, in a quarter, by uh, pressure cooking them at 15 PSI. I've done that method before, and that really makes the fruiting bodies like soft and pliable. So then you could put them into a grinder or a blender and uh, make it into a, a, like a hom homogenous powder that you can then put into capsules or into um, tea bags that you can easily buy on Amazon. And I'll put a link for those in the description, but I'm just gonna do water today. So we're just gonna get some water in this pot and then add our turkey tails in there and just let it simmer for two hours. Pretty simple. All right, so I only got like three cups here. I'm gonna allow for a cup to be able to evaporate off. I really just want like two cups of tea tonight. So I'm just gonna start with a small amount of water. All right, so I'm starting with a bunch of the dried fruiting bodies. And there is some moss and some bark still on here. You can pick them apart and kind of clean them up as you go, just adding them into the water. And uh, it's really not a lot to it. So I don't really have an exact amount that I use. There might be some special formula for how much water you should use to how many fruiting bodies. I've heard that the medicinal properties can vary from fruiting body to fruiting body. So I don't know, in my mind, I just think the more the better. I'm making two cups of tea. So I'm using like 20 mushrooms. There's like 20 uh, turkey tail conks in here. So I'm just gonna get them submerged in that water and they start to soak up the water pretty quick. And then I'm gonna put a lid on here, get it to a rolling boil, and then I'm gonna turn it down and just let it simmer here on the stove for two hours while I'm doing things around the house. All right, once I got that baby up to a boil, I'm gonna turn it down to simmer, put that lid on there, and we're just gonna leave it here simmering while we go about our business and uh, come back in two hours, it should have reduced quite a bit, but you'll notice that the water is a lot darker and those fruiting bodies are gonna be very, very pliable by then. All right, now our turkey tail tea has been simmering for two hours, so I'm just gonna make the most simple cup of turkey tail tea you've ever seen. So I've just got a sieve. I've got my cool 
turkey tail mug from the Mushroom Marauder, but I'm gonna just strain some of this right into my mug. A little spillage. All right, so here we go. We've got our cup of uh, steaming turkey tail tea. One thing I like to do is just add some local honey from your favorite beekeeper and uh, maybe a squirt of lemon. And uh, you've got a really soothing, medicinal, beneficial tea that was super easy to forage and to make. And now I wanna show you what I'm gonna do with the rest of this process. I still have these fruiting bodies and I'm gonna use those too. So now I still have these fruiting bodies and a little bit of the liquid left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave the lid off and I'm gonna reduce this all the way down. I'm gonna just evaporate every little bit of water out of here until it concentrates all of that stuff into those fruiting bodies. And this might take another hour. You could set these aside, put them in the fridge. I mean, it could take quite a while before it really cooks everything out in here, but uh, we wanna reduce it and we don't wanna throw that water away because it holds a lot of the good medicinal properties. So we're just gonna reduce it, reduce it, reduce it down into those fruiting bodies. All right, looks like we've reduced it to where there's like no water left at all in the pan. Just soft fruiting bodies, super concentrated with all of that goodness all broken down, all the polysaccharides and chitin are all broke down. And so now we can pulse these up in the grinder to make tea bags. There's our fruiting bodies. And I have this handy dandy little grinder. I will put this in the description as well. So I'm just gonna put fruiting bodies in here and grind them up while they're still soft. You don't wanna overload it or it'll just bog down. But now I chop it up into this fine, I wouldn't call it powder but it's uh, pretty grinded up. And it's gonna take me a few rounds of doing this. You can do it in a food processor, but sometimes in the food processor, it just kind of turns into this cottony mess. And uh, that's why you wanna do it while it's still really wet, because otherwise it just turns into this crazy cottony mess. And so what I end up with is this stuff, it's like pulp, basically fruiting body pulp. And uh, now I'll show you the next step in my process. Now I lay all this stuff out on the sheet pan and I'm gonna put it in the oven. And uh, I'm just gonna put this stuff in there until it completely dries out and is like dust. All right, you guys, so I ended up with this pretty much homogenous powder that is manageable and concentrated and broke down and dry. So now I'm gonna start to process this into um, usable tea bags. All right, so right here I have a food scale. Um, and this is if you wanna make them all identical. I got these tea bags on Amazon. I'll put a link for these in the description um, and also for the food scale. But we can uh, change the unit. And um, it's kinda nice to just have an amount that is consistent that you know you're taking that same amount if you wanna start a regimen like doing this every day. So here I have five grams and I could just open up my little tea bag and just load it up with the turkey tail concentrate powder chunk stuff. Very easy. Cinch it tight. And you could tie a little, tie a little knot. Here you go. Homemade turkey tail tea bags. There you go.
And then pretty soon you're gonna end up with a bunch of pre-made turkey tail tea bags. One thing I've done in the past is take little bits of lemon peel and uh, dehydrated it and put it in the bags. I've also done some with lemon peel and mint um, pre-made turkey tail tea bags. So if you feel the sniffles coming on or you just want to boost your immune system or whatever, you just pull one of these out at night, put it into some, uh, some simmering water and it's already broke down. Everything's bioavailable because we already uh, simmered them and concentrated everything in there. So this is an amazing way to use turkey tails and you can keep these all year round. We keep them right up by the coffee. And if somebody needs a little pick me up or maybe you need an immune system booster, you can just have a nice cup of tea. So I'm gonna kick back and enjoy my turkey tail tea. I hope you do the same. Make sure you hit subscribe. And we'll see you on the next episode of Mushroom Wonderland. Much love everyone, peace out.